Stephen Richard Lister Clark born 1945, is an English philosopher and professor emeritus of philosophy at the University of Liverpool. Clark specializes in the philosophy of religion and animal rights, writing from a philosophical position that might broadly be described as Christian Platonist. He is the author of 19 books, including The Moral Status of Animals 1977, The Nature of the Beast 1982, Animals and Their Moral Standing 1997, G.K. Chesterton 2006, Philosophical Futures 2011, and Ancient Mediterranean Philosophy 2012, as well as 77 scholarly articles, and chapters in another 109 books. He is a former editor-in-chief of the Journal of Applied Philosophy 1990-2001. Background Education and career Clark was born on 30 October 1945 in Luton, Bedfordshire, though the family came originally from Shropshire, Staffordshire. His father, D. A. R. Clark, was an apprentice railway engineer who became a technology teacher, and was later appointed principal of Middlesbrough Technical College, now the University of Teesside, then principal of Nottingham Technical College, now Trent University. His mother, M. K. Clark, was a teacher and the daughter of Samuel Finney. Clark was raised in the Anglican tradition. After attending Nottingham High School, 1956 to 1964, he won a scholarship to Balliol College, Oxford, 1964 to 1968, graduating with a first-class honors degree in Greats Classics in 1968, followed by a fellowship at All Souls, 1968 to 1975. He was awarded his Doctor of Philosophy degree in 1973. Brandon Hancock writes that the philosophers Arthur Pryor and Sir Anthony Kenny had a great intellectual influence on Clark at Balliol, while Robin Zayner was one of his greatest influences at All Souls. After Oxford, he lectured in moral philosophy at the University of Glasgow for nine years, until he was appointed Professor of Philosophy at Liverpool in 1984. He retired from this post at the end of 2009. He has also been a visiting professor at Vanderbilt University and held an Alan Richardson Fellowship at Durham University. He is married to Gillian Clark, with whom he has three children, Samuel, Alexandra, and Verity. Lectures Clark has delivered a number of prestigious lectures, including the 1981-1982 Gifford Lectures at the University of Glasgow, entitled, From Athens to Jerusalem. The Stanton Lectures in Philosophy of Religion at the University of Cambridge 1987 to 1989 and the Wild Lectures at the University of Oxford 1990. He has also delivered the Scott Holland Lecture at the University of Liverpool 1992, the Aquinas Lecture at the University of Oxford 1994, the Reed Tuckwell Lecture at Bristol University 1994, the Royal Institute of Philosophy Lecture at the University of Durham 1995, and the Aquinas Lecture at the Catholic University of Leuven 2000. Work on Animal Rights Clark served on the British government's Animal Procedures Committee, a group that advises the Home Secretary on animal testing, from 1998 until 2006. He has also been involved with the Boyd Group, a think tank set up by researchers involved in animal testing, and others who oppose it. Clark argues that the moral basis of humanism, that all human beings have equal moral status, is now so entrenched, in theory if not in practice, that we fail to consider what a radical idea it used to be. He writes that behind this idea is the notion that human beings are in some way uniquely gifted, perhaps with a share in the divine. This human, non-human divide was promoted to prevent human beings from being treated like animals on some utilitarian calculation, rather than as ends in themselves. He writes that we now know non-human animals to be much closer to humans than was previously thought, and therefore similar considerations must be extended to them. He highlights the incongruity of modern thinkers being willing to ignore the idea that human beings were made in the image of God, yet unwilling to accept what he argues is the moral conclusion that stems from the rejection of that idea, namely that we ought not to treat non-humans with radically less consideration than we treat humans. He writes. If species differences are only racial differences writ large, and it is plainly wrong to make such racial differences a ground for radically different treatment. We have to concede that if it is wrong to injure humans it must also be wrong to do identical or very similar injury to non-humans. 
he argues that t his is often all that is meant by the claim that animals have rights. What our forebears lacked was a full understanding of the extent to which our welfare depends upon the health of the global ecosystem and the extent to which our evolutionary cousins can be hurt, harmed and injured in ways analogous to ourselves. The question before us is not simply, how may we produce the greatest ratio of pleasure to pain? A wholly vacuous program, nor yet, what rights do creatures have before the community formulates them? But how may we best order the communities, social and global, of which we are parts? The answer, I believe, must lie in our taking seriously what we already know, that more matters even to animals than their own plane or pleasure, and that our survival even as a species depends upon being able to maintain or create substantial and civil ecosystems at household, civil, national and global levels. Publications Books Aristotle's Man, Clarendon Press, 1975. The Moral Status of Animals, Clarendon Press, 1977. The Nature of the Beast, Oxford University Press, 1982. From Athens to Jerusalem, Clarendon Press, 1984. The Mysteries of Religion, Blackwell, 1986. Ed. Berkeley, Money, Obedience and Affection, Garland Press, 1989 Civil Peace and Sacred Order, Oxford University Press, 1989 A Parliament of Souls, Oxford University Press, 1990 God's World and the Great Awakening, Oxford University Press, 1991 How to Think About the Earth, Mowbray's, 1993 how to Live Forever, Routledge, 1995 Animals and Their Moral Standing, Routledge, 1997 God, Religion and Reality, Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge, 1998 The Political Animal, Routledge, 1999 Biology and Christian Ethics, Cambridge University Press, 2000 G.K. Chesterton, Thinking Backwards, Looking Forwards, Templeton, 2006. Understanding Faith, Imprint Academic, 2009. With Pania de Vassilopolo, eds. Late Antique Epistemology, Other Ways to Truth, Macmillan, 2009. Philosophical Futures, Peter Lang, 2011. Ancient Mediterranean Philosophy, Continuum, 2012. Plotinus, Myth, Metaphor and Philosophical Practice, University of Chicago Press, 2016, Selected Book Chapters, The Pretext of Necessary Suffering, in Clark, Stephen R. L. The Moral Status of Animals, Clarendon Press, 1977. Good Dogs and Other Animals, in Peter Singer, ed. In Defense of Animals, Basil Blackwell, 1985. Is Humanity a Natural Kind, in T. Ingold, ed. What is an Animal, Onwin Hyman, 1988. The Consciousness of Animals, in R. Tallis and H. Robinson, eds. The Pursuit of Mind, Carcanet Press 1991. How Many Selves Make Me, D. Cockburn, ed., Human Beings, Cambridge University Press 1991. Apes and the Idea of Kindred, in Paola Cavallari and Peter Singer, eds. The Great Ape Project, Street. Martins Griffin, 1993. Species Essentialism, in Mark Beckoff, ed., Encyclopedia of Animal Rights and Animal Welfare, Greenwood Press, 1998. Impersonal Minds, in Anthony Oher, eds. Minds and Persons, Cambridge University Press, 2003, Vegetarianism and the Ethics of Virtue, in Steve F. Saponsis, ed. Food for Thought, The Debate Over Eating Meat, Prometheus Books, 2004, Ethical Thought in India, in John Skorupski, ed. Routledge Companion to Ethics, Routledge, 2010. Animals in Classical and Late Antique Philosophy, in Raymond Frey and Tom Beauchamp, eds. Oxford Handbook of Animal Ethics, Oxford University Press, 2011, Selected Papers, Animal Wrongs, Analysis, Vol. 38, No. 3, June 1978, pp. 147-149, On Wishing There Were Unicorns, Proceedings of the Aristotelian Society, New Series, Vol. 90, 1989-1990, pp. 247-265, Orwell and the Anti-Realists, Philosophy, Vol. 67, No. 260, 
60, April 1992, pp. 141 to 154. Deference, Degree and Selfhood, Philosophy, Volume 80, Number 312, April 2005, pp. 249 to 260. References. Further reading. Dombrowski, Daniel. Not even a sparrow falls. The philosophy of Stephen R. L. Clark. Michigan State University Press. ISBN 0-87013-549-X. External links Stephen Clark's webpage, University of Liverpool